When you first think about soccer and softball cleats, you might think that tears and much were all differences between the two. However, this isn't the case. There are many vital and not so vital differences that you must know to understand the best features for your sports. So, what are they? The biggest difference between soccer and softball cleats is that soccer cleats are often lighter and smaller and won't provide as much lateral support. Also, the cleats are shorter and made from plastic, whereas softball cleats can be metal and are longer. Generally, softball cleats are cheaper as well. These differences are important because, on both shoes, their features make the performance on a field optimal as they are specifically designed for them. Size and Weight When you put soccer and softball cleats side by side, it's pretty obvious which one is the softball cleat. Softball cleats are the bigger and heavier ones, as there are bigger designs available, and the support is better, meaning that there is more supporting material on the shoe. This results in both bigger and heavier shoes. Soccer cleats need to be as lightweight and mobile as possible, and superior support. Sport. The support on softball shoes is more towards ankles and the whole feet, really, whereas in soccer, the support isn't as drastic. That's why you can find both high and low top cleats for softball, but only low tops for soccer. Softball is a sport for more side-to-side -side movement, sudden turns, sprints, and so on when compared to soccer. This is why softball cleats have more material on the sides of the shoe, giving extra support. There are often more spikes as well for extra traction. In soccer, the movement is more linear as there is so much running in a straight or semi-straight line, so the support is geared towards that movement. Unnecessary material would increase the weight of the soccer shoes, making you slower, which isn't an option in soccer, Comfort. There aren't any huge differences in terms of comfort when it comes to soccer and softball cleats. However, metal cleats aren't often as comfortable as plastic cleats. Given that metal spikes aren't allowed in soccer, they tend to be more comfortable than softball cleats. Without forgetting the huge difference that manufacturers, brands, and price points have, both cleats have pretty much the same comfort except when comparing different cleat materials. Cleat positioning. Softball has cleats on the front. Football Don T. In football, Front cleats could be hazardous to others and would make ball control difficult. Cleat positioning is also different. Soccer cleats are placed all over the area of the outsole, whereas in softball, they are placed more systematically around the heel, middle section, and toe. Too systematic and even cleat placement on soccer cleats would give too much traction, slowing down the player, which isn't something you want. Cleat material. Generally, there are two cleat materials to choose from, metal and plastic. Soccer cleats are almost exclusively made from plastic. I have seen soccer cleats with metal spikes, but I highly recommend that you stay away from them both for yourself and others' sake, as they are too dangerous for soccer. You can find both metal and plastic spikes for softball cleats, and there aren't any regulations for the cleat materials. Often, metal cleats are used by professionals and plastic cleats by beginners, but not always. More on metal and plastic cleats later. Durability. Durability is another difference that widely depends on the usage time cleat quality, and positions played. On average, soccer and softball cleats have a similar lifespan. Let me explain why. Softball cleats can wear out rather quickly, as there is dirt involved which is very rough compared to a grass field. This is especially true with plastic cleats. So consider metal cleats for softball if you want the best durability. Thus, there are so many variables when it comes to the cost of cleats. For example, the brand, quality, materials used, cleat type, and so on can make a difference of hundreds of dollars. On average, however, softball cleats tend to be slightly less expensive than soccer. This may be the outcome of many reasons, but the publicity of the world's played sport, soccer cleats, can drive up the prices slightly more, especially when there isn't that much equipment on the list that a soccer player needs compared to an arsenal of softball gear. Metal. Metal cleats are clearly more rigid and dangerous looking. Also, they look cool as well. There are many advantages to metal cleats offer plastic cleats that you should know about. These features make metal cleats more popular amongst serious players and professionals. They give the maximum traction which is very important on everything you do in softball. By the way, metal cleats can't be used on artificial turf softball fields as they will destroy it fast. In soccer, metal cleats are forbidden as when you step on top of your opponent's foot and you will, it would do some serious damage. Think about it. If a molded cleat hurts like hell and can make bruises and chase, a metal spike would be so much worse. Plastic Plastic cleats, also called molded cleats, are different than metal cleats in many ways. There are different features that plastic cleats are better for, and if you recognize yourself from the following, they might be just what you need, as metal cleats are forbidden in softball, naturally. Plastic ones are the go-to choice for softball, not only for safety reasons, 
but they won't add too much traction and are more lightweight which is exactly what soccer needs. Lightweight and less traction might be something that you want for softball as well, so if that's the case, consider getting plastic cleats. However, plastic cleats can't be used on artificial turf softball fields either. Even though they won't damage as much as metal cleats, the damage is still too fierce. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos.